Hey Pisces, how are you doing? Welcome to today's reading. I hope everything is great in your world. This is a channel for anyone with a significant Pisces placement, so sun, moon, rising and Venus, or just if you vibe with the Pisces energy, you're very, very welcome here today. So let us see what is going on for Pisces Collective. The Roses Kiss. Wow, I was very drawn to put out the blue rose today after yesterday's blue rose. So we've got some amazing, perhaps romantic energy in here and a higher view. There's some real um, energetic vibrations coming on. So a raising of your vibrational energy to start with. See what this rose is about as we go along. We have got some other energies, both of those want to come out. Perseverance, stay the course. And anchor, keep yourself grounded. Okay. So we will get some more energy here. Prioritize self-care. You do so much for others. It's time you it's time for you to experience the love you deserve and let others help you. That very much aligns with this rose's kiss, which is being very involved in a sensory way with your environment, with yourself, perhaps with another person, um, certainly with nature. But allowing yourself to receive more than you give and stay the course again. Oh my goodness me. <laughs> don't panic you're not on the wrong path you're just having a bumpy start learn from your experiences and keep going hmm. wow all right stay the course Pisces that's the big message for today keeping yourself grounded whatever you're doing you're on the right track that's definitely for sure and we have grape which is uh, energy of fertility like something's ripening and we have got the dragonfly. Wow. So transformational dragonflies are very maneuverable. They're very able to um, deal with a lot of wind flow and they go up, they go down, they go sideways. They not only have a higher perspective, but they can also navigate all different sort of energies that come their way. Um, if you're feeling a little bit weary or you're feeling tired or perhaps your body is giving you some aches and pains or maybe even something that's troubling you, there is an invitation here to be really, really sensitive and mindful to your health, really in tune with how you feel and what makes you feel good and conserve your energy for you in a very healthy, orientated way, prioritizing energy for you your mid track of something stay the course perseverance stay the course you're not on the wrong path and if you're on the right path there's no need to rush along it um faster than your body can take you for example let your mind want to be at the end of the path but your body can't get there as fast as your mind wants you to and your body is um saying i i have to pace myself through this so keep yourself grounded, keep your mind in your body, keep your mind in your soul and keep yourself focused on that place in life where you're at, what's the moment in front of you. And if you're really overly focused on that moment in some kind of detail of that moment, then fly up and take a higher perspective because that moment's there regardless. It's happening to you, you're an observer of it. The thing to observe is how you feel inside. We have got here power and healing. <laughs> you get to get what you love. First, you have to be patient with what you have. Okay. Being patient with yourself is really important. That's going through big time. And wow, wildflower. Anticipation. I felt like an arrow pulled back and ready to be launched into something big. You're on the brink of something. You're on the brink of something. You can feel it. It feels like perhaps you've been journeying for a very, very, very long period of time. There is a, a ripening. Something is coming to its time and place to meet you. The universe is sorting that out. And 
if you keep going along the track that you're going along, something amazing is going to meet you on that track. But if you keep trying to race ahead of the track, then you might not even see. Oh, I need to sneeze. Hang on. That was a quick pause. Um, uh, I had to sneeze yesterday, two days ago. I don't generally sneeze in reading. So there is some kind of expelling of uh, energy that you don't need um, is part of this prioritizing self-care. Okay, what have we got going on in here? I actually want to do past and present. Let's see what this is about. So past energy, present energy, and then we'll get future energy. Past energy, we have got the four of cups. We have got the eight of crystals. And we have got the nine of wands. Mastering self-care. That's past energy. Four of cups is learning how to meditate. It's also about just dealing with um, where you're at, being really clear about where you're at, um, what tops you up, what isn't working, what is working, um, understanding if you're bored with things, understanding here with the nine of wands, where your determination is, where your completion is, where your where your barriers are, where your boundaries are, how to put in boundaries, how to understand yourself. I'm getting the energy of almost like creating a swing where you can swing freely in the actions that you take so that the actions that you take don't become a burden to you. And eight of crystals is mastering that. So self mastery, um, self mastery about how to understand what's right for you and how to exist in that energy that really works. So that's what's been going on in your past, which is that's well done. I mean, hats off to you because you've really been focused on understanding yourself at a deep level. Um, and uh, I'm not surprised about that for the Pisces Collective that are, are, are in these readings, but it's a big deal. Don't underestimate what you have been doing in order to make that happen for yourself and give yourself a real um, dose of happiness and affirmation for doing that. OK, present energy. We have got the nine of crystals. We have got the lovers. And we have got the emperor. Ah, all right. Your present energy is feeling like it could be very receptive to other people. So there's this element of independence. So it's like claiming your sovereignty within, with the Nine of Crystals. And the Emperor energy here is a very grounded, very down to earth, keep yourself grounded and energy. It's an authoritative figure. It's, a, it's an energy that is um, very certain. So this could be you, it could be somebody else. The Nine of Crystals could be you, it could be somebody else. With the Emperor, we've got a masculine energy with this figure here, the Nine of Crystals. Um, typically, the Nine of Crystals is depicted as a, or it's the Nine of Pentacles, is depicted as a feminine energy. So being grounded and being feminine, being grounded, being masculine, both of those elements, both of those energies balanced in you, balanced in someone else, because in the middle here, we've got the Lovers. Now, the Lovers, uh, you will perhaps often hear it being quoted as a, as a card of choice it is a card of choice based around relationships so when two people come together and they can um they can meet and then they can just carry on on their own journey or two people can come together and they can decide to alter the course of their path to accommodate each other and while you're on the right track it feels that you're on track to meet somebody who would be a life-changing choice for you if you're on your own that means there's somebody coming up that you will meet if you're with somebody it could be that you're going to make a choice together to do something differently or it could be that there's somebody at work for example that or in your community or a family member that might influence you to change track okay so definitely this stay the course stay the course and because we've got two stay the courses that could also be the same thing that you're um, got mirroring going on in somebody else Okay, I'm just going to get a little bit more around this kind of present energy situation from a different card deck and some different oracles, and then we'll clear away and we'll do a future. And I, when I'm going to do future, I'm just going to go three or four weeks ahead, not a huge distance ahead. Okay, let's stay on the present energy then. We have got four of water again, okay. So that was in your past and here it is in your present again. So that kind of energy of 
discontentment, I guess is probably the right word here, hasn't yet gone away. So here we've got three cups that are full and one that is like the angels are bringing you something. So you might be grown into your space at this point in time and you need something to kind of shift you beyond that. We have got here justice, fairness, the law and karma. And we have got the knight of air, intellectual, determined and motivated. All right, I'm just going to get a couple of, um, yeah, these oracle cards to go with this. One and that one. We have got Phoenix and Transmutation. And we have got Reflecting Pool and Stillness. I'm I'm feeling with this energy on this row, it's still we're still working with present energy. It's very much your energy that I'm picking up here. There is some kind of process, inner process that has been going on for you that feels like it's very much about. teaching you how to learn how to give to yourself and how to awaken certain energetic flows going on with, within you. And the reason I'm saying that, with the Justice card here, I'm particularly drawn to these energy centres. I'm, I'm really feeling like they're, they're speaking to me, the heart-centred energy here and the third eye psychic energy here. I feel like you have had to, or you are still, because this is present energy, in the process of finding your spiritual gifts, finding what it means to be really, really, really connected to source energy, and not from an intellectual point of view, but from a real feeling, understanding, knowing how to find that energy when you want it, allowing the energy of the universe to flow through you, to understand when to intellectualize something, to understand when to allow with the fairness, to understand when to um, find the energy that will flow and how to find the energy that, or how to find, what's the right word? How to find tools to allow energy to flow through you and your thoughts to flow through you in a way that is always positively supportive of your future. And here we've got with the four of water is kind of loss of motivation. And here with the night of air, we've got motivation happening again. And here with this Phoenix, there is this real passion. There's this transmutation. There is the energy of finding a passion for something that perhaps you had lost at a point. This card here is the card 33, which is um support. But here, if you're in if you're if you're in pain, whether it's boredom, whether it's things that have happened in your past that haven't been fair, whether it's people that have or you have not felt heard or seen, or your intellect has not been recognized, if you go inside and find the pain and sit with it, even if you have physical pain, sit with the pain until you find the emotional source and then Feel where that has come from. Is it because, and these are where these energy centers are, that you haven't allowed the energy of love to flow through your heart and you haven't allowed the energy of your psychic capability, your ability to see the bigger picture here, the higher view, which is coming through with this energy center, that you haven't allowed that energy to flow through your body. And that in turn has maybe kept you in the material world that has been boring or it has kept you constricted, but there's this freeing because here we've got the phoenix, the transmutation. And um, I'm just actually gonna pause and get the guidebook because this is a really important card. I'm just gonna read a couple of bits from the guidebook for you. Okay, we're back. So with this, just bear in mind this grapes and things coming to rightness, even if you're feeling like tired and you're having to keep going. It says here, 
Your life is changing in ways that you didn't expect, but it's wildly wonderful. Transmutation is the act of changing from one state of being to another element, from one or from one element to another. The phoenix is legendary for its transmutation in fire, and in the flames he is reborn, leaving behind his old tired self to become a passionate, wild and free bird. Something that you might have thought would never change is changing into something amazing. It's not an ending, rather it is a bright, shiny new beginning. Situations that seemed lacklustre are transmuting into fabulous opportunities. Release expectations and limited thinking, for things are not as they seem. A big change is at hand in your life. What feels like an ending is really a beginning. Rising out of the flames and ashes, you're entering a new cycle. Even if life seems murky in areas, this is only the clearing before a rebirth. Hang in there, the best is yet to come. With the rebirth card that we had, and there was like this shifting yesterday. If any of you haven't seen yesterday's reading, it really feels like this is a precursor. In fact, all the readings feel like they're just on a journey. But there's... um. There's this precursor to this transmutation, which is really, really freeing um, and finding the energy of spirit. There is something really, really shifting in this Pisces collective. It is absolutely fantastic. And it is self-care. Enjoy the little things. If you're not with somebody, feel the sensory input of being with somebody, if that's somebody you know or not somebody that you know. Um, allow yourself to receive the feeling of what it's like to be enjoy in doing things that you really really want to be able to do and keep that higher perspective there is something that is so close so close for you that is coming into fruition um okay what am i going to do i'm going to clear away these arrow in the middle power and healing and anticipation yeah anticipation <laughs> okay we're going to clear away these and we're going to get another layer or the future so i'm just going to go forward up to four weeks i mean it could be today tomorrow but just up to four weeks uh, uh, ahead what is the future energy that's coming through and reflecting back at Pisces? we have got here a message of warning okay we've got another three three and we have got regrets and 23 okay all right those are quite powerful energies. What are they about? Generosity. What good is treasure if you keep it for yourself? And de determination. Don't be afraid of the rising tide. It will soon recede. I had a dream about a tide rising um, and um not being able to escape the power of it about three days ago <laughs> and i did get to the other side of this stretch of um sand <laughs> but it felt like it was hard going so message of warning regrets generosity there is something that you need to share and you don't want to be looking back saying i wish i hadn't shared that because it will help shift your life forward immeasurably and move you towards paradise and we've got another rose okay amazing it will move you towards all of the century and romantic and or um, passion self-passion passion with other people that you are seeking and longing for it's really important that whatever you have here in in you it needs to be shared that's really really black and white and really clear um, so time to start talking, time to start getting over that imposter syndrome, so time to start putting yourself out there, Pisces. It's, um, yeah, it's action time. It's action time. Okay. So can we get some more information over this next four weeks? What is this about? The world, accomplishment, celebration and completion. Yeah, there's something that you need to put out into the world. <laughs> okay, four weeks of effort. Four weeks of effort to complete something that has perhaps been um, something that is building up in you for a period of time. And you've maybe stalled about sharing or being brave enough to talk about what it is that you have 
it needs to go out there in the next four weeks. We've got King of Fire. So on the material world, grounding, inspirational, charismatic and innovative and transformation, realization, life change, liberation. So your intuition and your mind are saying, it, yeah, it's time for the transformation. Um, sudden and unexpected change is coming. It will be life changing. Be in control of it with the King of Fire, which is the um, King of Wands, leading the change, maybe leading a world, a world leading change. Something that you have to share will influence substantial numbers of people and help them transform as well. So thought leader energy coming through here, a real strong action taker. Pisces, you are a leader and you are a natural born leader. There is no two ways about that. The Pisces energy is generally anyway, but certainly all of you in this collective, you have got something that will help the world. You'll actually help heal the world in many ways. So it's time to get your message out there. Whatever that is, that is in whatever format that is, um, whether that's within your current work environment, or whether it's something you're putting out there, a blog that you've never been brave enough to press send on, the world needs it. And it, it, it there's a message of warning here, which I, I feel is like, don't regret it, but also, you know, you, you might, you might be, you might actually feel better. If you're not feeling well, you would perhaps feel better if you can just release this out into the world as opposed to holding you back because holding yourself back is not allowing the flow and freedom of the energy that is natural in you to flow through you at an emotional level we've got the six of earth and we have got the empress the six of earth we've got gen charity generosity windfall the empress creation abundance and action at an emotional level your intuition and your mind is saying look you've got to feel you've got to feel this there is something financially very rewarding when you put out into the world whatever it is that you're going to put out into the world. You're going to give birth to an idea or you're going to give birth to a concept or you're going to um, allow other people to see what you have created and they want that. So take action. We've got creation, abundance and action. Your mind needs to take action with self-compassion, self-compassion is there's more self-compassion about overcoming imposter syndrome and limiting beliefs than there is in holding yourself back. So there is money on the other side of taking action to share what it is that you have to share. And then at a spiritual level, we have got the ace of water, emotions, relationships, and intuition. And we have got the page of earth. <laughs> Lovely. Okay, so spiritually, like, ready in the energy to come to you your intuition is saying this is going to bring me joy putting out into the world or helping change the world in whatever works for you pisces is the path to joy at the end of this road is joy your intuition knows it your intuition knows that there might be relationships there um maybe you are helping children maybe some of you are um knowing or wanting a child for example that could be in here but there's something that you need to do first in terms of allowing yourself the gift of um, making that happen and here your mind is saying look there's a message there are messages coming in studious prepared cheerful when you are able to express yourself and overcome any doubts about not being able to or not being allowed to one it will bring you huge joy and two it's going to start bringing you in messages maybe from that lover energy that you really, really wanted to hear from. So there's a, over the next four weeks, it's kind of like, stop holding yourself back. <laughs> Just stop holding yourself back. If you've got something in here, what's the good of having that treasure inside of you if you keep it to yourself? So don't be afraid of um, the feelings of perhaps being swamped energetically, because when you're ready to swim to the other side, um, you will find a palm tree, a beach, somewhere that is beautiful, full of roses, waiting to receive you. Well, that's a powerful, strong message. And I'm just going to finish with what we've got from our guardian angel here. Oh, you can see that one in here. Three little angels that want to come through. We've got the angel of forgiveness. I forgive myself, I forgive everyone, forgiveness is my freedom. 
A powerful feeding, feeling of freedom emerges when we open our hearts to forgiveness. Forgiving ourselves is the first step to forgiving others. We can learn to accept ourselves and others as we really are at the present. The greatest power of healing is in forgiving, and with the soul's help, we can forgive anyone who has hurt us. Forgiveness teaches us about the great law of cause and effect and opens our mind to divine mercy. Okay, we've got two more angels to give two more bits of advice. The angel of courage, yeah. My heart is open and full of courage. Courage, an action that springs from the heart. All action inspired by the center of true love brings with itself security and firmness that cannot be disturbed. To be courageous is to know that fear offers no resistance to love. That's beautiful and that's particularly representative of um, that energy, where is it here? Of both the transmutation and Here, this night of air, being determined, being determined to allow yourself to move forward. Okay, and then we have here, finally, the angel of synthesis. In the white light of my soul, I see the synthesis of who I am. Synthesis is a key quality for understanding what the future brings. The energy of appreciation is very important in order to understand the meaning of synthesis in our lives without becoming victims of what happens. With the quality of synthesis, we develop the ability to see unity in diversity and we open the way to inner wisdom that brings wonderful synchronicity into our lives. This is very much the energy of um, temperance where there is the mixing of water and fire. So P Pisces, you have this emotional being. You are, we are Pisces, there's Pisces energies, um, very emotional, um, but we also have a lot of fiery passion. So with this transmutation here, this phoenix, I'm actually going to put that phoenix in the middle here and we'll perhaps share that with this angel here. So to move yourself forward is to allow yourself to be, allow yourself to um, just let everything that is in the past be the past and l allowing the these, these energy centers, the heart center energy and the third eye center energy that has been coming through, allow the energy of the universe here to flow through you and the passion and courage then starts to mix with the deep emotions that are pisces and you start to rise you start to elevate and that's what this angel of synthesis is saying it's the elevation of yourself um, that brings the passion and the complete fundamental change so we've got the transformation change here and the transmutation the phoenix by changing yourself on the inside everything on the outside starts to change or the positive i just wanted one more because i'm a little bit obsessed by um things balancing on each side the group, angel of group consciousness i trust and act according to my soul's guidance every day soul's consciousness is an all-embracing and is a strong connection within groups in the soul's dimension we are not separate entities and we are fully aware of our service to humanity and to the planet to have group consciousness is to respond to the guidance that comes from the soul and to be synchronized in the right place with the right people and action Pisces, we have a group consciousness going on in this collective. It is absolutely fundamentally so powerful. This is a real message to say you're on track. You have something about to come to fruition right in front of you. It's going to happen within the next four weeks. Be generous in sharing what you know. Stop holding yourself back. It's actually energetically not only constricting you, but if any of you have um, you know, feelings of tiredness or even worse, then help it you will be helped energetically by sharing what you know the sooner the better because that is going to bring you financial windfalls it's going to bring you um, abundance it's going to make you feel very creative it's going to bring you in messages it's going to make you feel joy there might be offers of joy offers of love coming your way um, certainly you will feel very open and receptive to those as you embrace this king of fire, which is a fire, the fiery passion that goes with the deep, intuitive Pisces energy and um, the sensory involvement in the world and in life and with other people, other animals, other nature that, um, you know, really defines and earmarks what a beautiful experience life can be. Big reading. The real message here is put yourself out there, Pisces. It's massively important. 
Okay. Thank you so much. Take care. Bye.